In Fairfax County Public Schools, restorative justice practices are used to build community, foster relationships, repair harm caused by conflict, and prevent conflict from occurring in the first place. These restorative practices range from the informal development of an empathetic restorative mindset by staff and students, to formal settings which include preventative community building circles, small group interventions, and responsive restorative justice conferences. The benefits of restorative practices for students are that every student is seen, heard, and valued. At London Town Elementary School, community building circles were implemented three years ago. We have students now that were in our third year of doing community building circles that are advocating to have, you know, um, problem solving conversations. Students are more comfortable bringing up problems with each other and wanting to have a dialogue with each other. I notice they're advocating for themselves, especially in the classroom. Tier 2 restorative practices take place in small group intervention settings. They're from different classrooms, but they, have, they share the same problem. And so with those, it's a 9 to 12 week program. So you have to spend the first part building that trust um, in that circle process and then getting to the root cause of, you know, why things are happening. And then by the end of that 12 weeks, hopefully we have strategies and, and ways to help. Tier 3 restorative practices, known as restorative justice, are facilitator-led sessions that bring together those impacted by wrongdoing to discuss the incident, understand the effects, and agree on how to repair the harm. Restorative justice is a formal tool that we used when conflict does occur that gives us the opportunity to intervene, to assess and to discuss what happened, the impact of what happened, and what we can do in order to feel like we can move forward and to repair our relationships in our community. Twain Middle School and Chantilly High School regularly use restorative justice to resolve situations, repair relationships among students, and correct negative behaviors. One of the most important parts of RJ is the students have an opportunity to talk through that situation and take ownership of their impact on that situation. Almost every time um, I know the students I've, I've had worked through it, they'll come back and say, oh, this actually ended up really well. The benefits is giving students a, a platform to be heard, um, and students are learning how to manage relationships in a positive way, and they need our help. And especially if a student feels like they could have handled a situation better, or if they feel like they've been mistreated. It's a way for them to understand how it affects the community as well as how it affects each other, and to figure out a way to come to some sort of agreement on how to move forward. And this is all part of it, learning the empathy, learning accountability, learning reflection. This is a great way to teach children the skills of how to get along. And once they learn it at this age, they carry it on for the rest of their lives. Excellence. Equity. And opportunity.